Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be doing a Writer's End versus Neuron Writer content optimization comparison. So both tools have uh, different things about them. As far as Writer's End is going to be uh, more comprehensive, it, it you know has a lot of keyword research uh, functionality. Uh, it's one of my go-to keyword research tools. So it wouldn't be fair to completely compare the two. Um, I think that they are standalone tools on their own. Uh, but in this case, uh, we're going to be doing a comparison of the content optimization feature and functionality of Writer's End and Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer is primarily a content optimization software. Um, it does have some uh, niche research uh, part of features um, of the software, but um, I would say Writer's End would win uh, with like keyword research and all that kind of stuff. So uh, right now, what we really want to focus on is when we create, most of us are going to be creating our uh, content, either hiring someone to do it or creating it with our any number of artificial intelligence um, writing softwares uh, like Word Hero or Brainwork or Jasper, um, all kinds of good ones, right? Uh, so we're going to be looking, uh, taking the exact same piece of content and you can, you can write it in any uh, AI writer, you're going to get, I mean, some of them might be a little bit um, higher quality than others, but at the, at the end of the day, most of them are using GPT-3 or open source AI, different things like that. So it's going to be similar output that you're going to get uh, with those tools. <clears throat> and so uh, it doesn't really matter where you're writing it. Um, what really matters is bringing them into these tools like WriterZen and Neuron Writer, and then continuing that optimization, putting that manual touch on your content uh, to help it rank better. Uh, and that will help you change the content, add more things to it, and it will help with the Google um, AI uh, penalty algorithm that they uh, have come out with. So uh, let's go and jump into this test. So first I'm gonna go into my trusty uh, keyword research tool over here, Rank IQ. And I could also compare, we could uh, paste it in here. Uh, usually when I do a dry paste, basically I create content and paste it into Rank IQ. It usually always starts off at, a, at an F, maybe every once in a while it's a D grade. So we already know that they're gonna, it's gonna have a bad grade when we paste it in. And I'm going to make the estimate before we do this that it's going to have a pretty bad grade going into the tools. Um, and so you are going to have to do a comparison. But the test is just to see which tool, uh, what it looks like, right? When we paste it in, does it um, say, does one tool say it's, the content's really good? Does another one say that it's not? Now, leave a comment below if you want me to do a, another um, kind of comparison like this. Uh, now, I'm not going to include Surfer or Phrase because those are paid, very expensive monthly applications that I don't really have any use for because I have so many other optimization tools that I like to use. And a lot of them are um, that I've picked up on Lifetime Deals, and I know a lot of you have as well. So let me know if you want me to do a, 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 compa a short comparison video uh, where I kind of do the same thing that I'm doing today, but I'll do Rank IQ and I'll do... Uh, Neuron Writer, I'll do Writer's End, and then maybe Similar Content Pro, and you guys can maybe um, post paste uh, different, uh, some other ones as well that come to mind. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that uh, video as well. So let's go. I picked out a um, this Rank IQ, if you don't know about it, it's a membership uh, where you can actually pay from anywhere as, as low as $29 a month. They have a $49 plan, which is the standard plan. And then it goes up from there. And basically, um, the owner of the software, Brandon, um, came out with his own algorithm where uh, this helps you to, and, and the big, big thing I like about here is they go out and handpick all these keywords. Uh, they have an algorithm that goes out and if, if the keyword has Quora answers and Pinterest and things like that. It's going, they, they take what you're going to do with your other tools and it, they take it a step further. So that's why I use this uh, for a lot of my keyword research. So really, really good stuff. But uh, of course, so I'll really rank IQ um, and writers and I, I use both those tools for keyword re research right now and Uber suggests. So those are the three that I really use. So anyway, we're going to go in here. I'm going to do this one for one of my new sites, how to wash a car without a hose. So I'm going to go and click on the report right here. 
and it's going to say usually it's a plus a plus plus uh you need good content right it needs to be optimized but i like this one because we only need 1300 words in rank iq and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to see the comparison of what the other tools draw and what they're telling us how much we need as well and they analyzed 30 sources we have all the keywords we can go in here and do title analysis and see what titles work best as well and then it has three suggested uh competitors right here and how many words they have and what their content grade is so really really good stuff and then you can go in and um go to the content optimizer but so i used this to get the keyword and get a little bit of ideas and stuff but now we're going to go and what i did is i took this i took the keyword and about 1300 words is what i want to go with right and then I went in, uh, I just could choose any number of my AI writers, but I went into Brainwork because it's just so fast. And I really like the way that Brainwork comes out with really good uh, outlines. And Brainwork, it just continues to, uh, continues to build their software and improve their software month after month. So uh, I just wanted to use Brainwork. It's nice and fast. I've always liked Brainwork. So we came in here and you could see we had outlines right here and I pasted um, those outlines over into here. And then I went in down here. Once I wrote all this, right, using brain work, I added a little bit of my own stuff in here when it uh, was appropriate. But then once I came through here, um, I kind of went to a, um, you know, like an FAQ section because I only had about 600 words and I knew I was only halfway done. I needed more content. So then what I did was I came over to the keyword area um, to see if there was any other uh, questions, but really they're, um, they need to improve the questions because all these questions are just kind of repeating right here. So what I did was I went back to rank IQ and I went into our content analysis and I started picking up these different topics and started coming up with my own. And I actually didn't go to Google or anything. I actually used these topics and came up with my own questions like using a wash mitt. So when I came over here to rank IQ, I saw a wash mitt somewhere over here, wash mitt. It just said wash mitt. And it means that this is very important. This definitely needs to be in our content uh, when analyzing the top 30 sources. So I went over here and then I said, using a wash mitt to wash your car without using a hose. I, I wrote that. I made that up myself. And then I uh, let Brainwork um, write that for it. So I just did that same process right here. Um, yeah, this took um, some effort. It took, um, you know, probably 15 minutes to get this uh, written right here. But now we have this 1400 word um, article that we know um, meets the criteria, at least in rank IQ. But now to con now let's go do our test, right? Let's go do our test. I already have this set up. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to make you guys sit through me setting up the content right here. But I wanted to show you. So now we're in Writer Zen, right? And when you're in Writer Zen, you go to the content creator and you, you know, want to do a new brief. I put in the keyword um, and this is what it's going to look like. It's going to tell us that just based off of the top 10 results and what the word counts are right there, um, it's basically telling us that we need on average a 943 word article. We know that we're coming in above that. That's not going to hurt us at all. That's going to be, that's great. Um, but what we can do is um, since we're not formulating the outline, we already did all that. We don't need the outline. Now we could come in here. Uh, you guys can go watch plenty of tutorials I've done. You can use this to uh, do your outline, right? Like if we go in over here, keywords to include. Um, here's all the keywords that you're, you know, going through the same process that um, even Rank IQ is doing as well. Um, but I'm going to go into just content writing right here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go and grab this. I'm going to copy that and go in here. And I'm just going to push return and paste. Oh, I don't know why that didn't work. For some reason that. Okay, so we pasted this into Writer Zen. And then we'll come back over here and we'll grab our title. So really I wanted to just kind of explain to you guys what I'm doing in this little test. Um, this is going to be our H1. And then do we have H2s? Yes, that's an H2. That's an H2. Okay, so we're optimized. We're looking good. So the article is in here. And this was the just copy paste test. Now, what is writers and saying about our content? Well, three of them, if once we add these images, then um, I'm imagining um, actually, so writers Zen's telling us we need four images. Uh, Rank IQ doesn't tell us how many images we need for our content. Um, and then I don't, and then also uh, neuron writer does not tell us how many as well. I do like that it, uh, neuron writer does give a keyword difficulty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and click view the report uh, over here. 
We already went through this process. I'm not going to go through that. But what I do like to do in these top 10 right here is just weed out any YouTubes. So I'll unselect YouTube right there. We'll come down here and just to make sure there's no more YouTube, even Reddit. Um, that's 945 words. Actually, I'm going to leave that one in there. But if this was like 300 words or less, um, I would actually take out Reddit and all that. But that looks like a pretty good uh, post. So, uh, and then what I'll do is I'll just look for how to wash a car without a hose, a thousand words. Perfect. I'll go ahead and just add one more right there. See how I did that. Um, that's, this is an outlier, just get rid of YouTube and they rank really well, but this also tells you that you could go and optimize for this, um, with a YouTube video and you could have two top 10 spots, which is great. So then we'll push the next button and get this set up real quick for you guys. Okay, so here is the dashboard or the canvas, writing canvas, and you can see that we need, uh, I go by this score right here because it's going to pull in that 26 from YouTube and I can't, I, I figure, I've tried different settings right here, even custom selection, but I can't get rid of the top result because Neuron Writer is pulling that top result regardless of if you select it or not, or not. I don't know if that is a flaw, if that's actually something that I need to reach out to Neuron Writer on, like they should allow you to take that off so it's not counted in the optimization, but either way, it doesn't really impact us too much because I'm going with the top 10 number right here. Um, and I would encourage you to go with the top 10 number or even the top 30 number, which is much higher and more realistic. Obviously you're not going to rank on the uh, first page with a score of 27, you know, 26, it needs to be 50 or higher. Um, in my opinion, going off this score. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. I would use this score right here. Uh, so now we're going to go and take this um, same article here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go back into Neuron Writer and I'm just going to paste. And that did not work. Okay. So I'll come back over here. I don't know why it did that. I literally just did a control C. But uh, either way, we'll try it again. Come back over here. And that is an H1. Okay. Paste the rest of that in here. Okay. So I don't think that it's grading um, necessarily if we have um, images or not. Uh, we could uh, add images over there. Um, so let's see right here. I'm just going to do something like a test. We're going to add four images in right here. Okay. And you just do that by, um, and you have to have URLs. Um, so something that you could do is go over to um, Pixabay or Pexels. You can go like that. And we can just come over into here. And I'm just going to say, not sure if there's going to be any pictures of car wash, but okay, there we go. So then you can actually just right click, copy link address, come back into Neuron Writer. And just for fun, just for testing purposes, that's why I'm doing this, guys. Um, and just push OK. So we got the image right there. Didn't really, sh it's not showing up. Uh, the, the, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and add four images and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And what I actually did, I forgot. Brainwork is super amazing at allowing you to just add images inside the software. Really, really cool. They have an image feature up here. You just click it and you can go and add images from Unsplash inside of here. It's super awesome. And then when you paste it, it, it pastes the URL and everything. So it just saves so much time. Uh, one of the great features about Brainwork. If you want to pick up Brainwork, I will leave a link below. Uh, so here we go, guys. Uh, so actually what I did was I just went and added four relevant images inside this content here. I copied that. I pasted it in here to Neuron Writer. And as you can see, it didn't change. It is registering that there's four <clears throat> images right here. But it's I don't, I don't know if this was 42 or 43, but it didn't really raise it much, if, it, if at all. Uh, which is fine, but we're starting off with a pretty good score. We just need to increase this by 10. Um, so that's not too bad. But what I do like is that it does, it's not ready to post. This content is not ready to publish by any means. Still got some, uh, some improvements to make in order to be able to outrank the top 10 as far as optimization. Now let's go into writer's end and I'm going to actually paste that exact one into here. And as you remember, we had three that showed up green images weren't there. And let's see. And we had a, we had a D or a C score. So I'm going to paste that. We definitely did not have a B score and now we have a B score inside of here. So let's stop for a second and analyze where we're at right now, guys. Okay. So right now, uh, and actually, I guess just for fun, let's just go and paste this in, even though I didn't add rank IQ in here, let's go ahead and paste this exact article into rank IQ as well. Uh, it's going to give us a, an F 
So definitely, um, there's a, it expects more. Uh, Rank IQ is expecting more. So here is the great test, guys. Wait, it's not registering. Hold on. Okay, here we go. It registered finally. 1,400 words, a D plus score out of A plus. So we still got a ways to go here. But at least we're not starting off at an F. Um, so uh, I just wanted to do that because I know some of you would probably want me to do that on the Rank IQ um, as well. So, um, And you can pick up Rank IQ as well with a link below as well. But uh, let's go back to the just the two that we're really focusing on this time. So here's where we're at, guys. We wrote all this content in Brainwork. So it's the exact same content, and we're pasting it into Writer's End. And Writer's End is telling us that this is a B. This is almost ready to publish. This is all lighting up green. Um, and a lot of people would say that, oh, this is definitely good enough. We're well over on the word count. We have way more headings in it saying paragraphs, images. Um, and this is, it's just saying that this is, this is good. We can come in here to keywords, uh, car washing. We actually use that 20 times. Um, here's all the keywords that we uh, need to add, that it's saying that we need to add in there. I don't really know why it's giving us such a high score when we're missing so many of the keyword suggestions um, that it's telling us to. Uh, we have competitors and we have questions. But any, either way, the content, the dry content score is a B on Writer's End. And then if we come in here to Neuron Writer, it doesn't give you a B or an A or anything like that. But as you can see, we're in the yellow right here, orange, yellow. <clears throat> and we are um, about 10 off from where we need to be right here. Um, you can see all the, the green keywords that we've used, the red ones that we might have used too much, and the all these ones that are in black we have not used at all. So those are opportunities, right, that we can go and start adding this in. Uh, so you be the judge. I don't really know if I want to call, like, you know, give a grade or anything like that. I haven't done extensive testing with using. So I got to be honest, I haven't used Writer Zen for the content optimization and actually published content. Um, I have begun because there's just something about Neuron Writer that I'm uh, impressed with and the ease of use of using it. And I do think it has more features. I mean, you be the judge right here. There's not a whole lot or maybe there is, but they're just it's just not as easy of a um, the content optimization right here. Uh, it's maybe it's just preference, guys, but um, I like Neuron Writer as far as the dashboard and using the um, optimizer. Now, there is a plagiarism check right here in uh, Writer's End, and I don't think there is one over here. So that's something that they need to um, look at adding um, if they want to stay ahead of the competition. We can see right here different things that we can improve um, overall. But um, but overall, Neuron Writer, I have begun using Neuron Writer uh, uh, more uh, since I've had it, and I'm going to be using it. In, and I've actually optimized uh, content with Neuron Writer and published it um, recently. So I will keep you guys posted on that, um, on how well I think the tool is uh, working. Um, but like I said, you guys can be the judge on the test, um, you know, Basically, Writer Zen is saying that content is ready to go right out of the works without doing any optimization. It's giving it a B score. Um, Neuron Writer is telling you that this is not ready to post because you are not. Like, again, ignore the top one. Uh, otherwise, it would this would be ready to publish. But we already know that that this is not going to rank. Um, we need to do some optimizations. We need to move up ten points. Um, on this one. So, I mean, I guess if I had to call it just, you guys saw this, I pasted the same exact article in both softwares. One of them saying it's good to go. The other one is telling us we need to make improvements to it. Um, I would have to say Neuron Writer is going to be my choice um, if I had to choose between the two as far as optimization. But like I said, um, Writer's End absolutely wins with niche research, with keyword clustering, with uh, Keyword research, all that kind of stuff. Writers in absolutely works. And um, writers in there, like I will uh, also say that while we didn't do anything else in here, we just pasted it into both. But I, there may be some things that we needed to select in order to make this a uh, little bit more uh, accurate in writers in. So in their defense, but. Like I said, uh, I like Neuron Writer, um, and I give Neuron Writer the edge in this test. All right, I'll see you in the next video.